This activity is called soccer bowling. As you can see, each area has one ball, one poly spot, and three pins. And we have lines that we line up all the balls and poly spots on. Also, all the pins are lined up on the gray lines. And we have the same setup on the other side of the gym. What students will do, they will approach the ball, there'll be instruction given on how to kick a ball, and they'll take two or three steps back and step off to the side a little bit, and they'll approach the ball, they'll set their plant foot alongside the ball, make sure it's pointing at the pins, and then they'll also, when they kick the ball, and we're working on kicking with the inside of the foot, when they kick the ball, they'll continue with their foot right at their target. The, the foot will not go off to the left or right, it'll go directly at the target where they're kicking. If they knock down all three pins, then they get to take one step back. So they'll pick up their poly spot and they'll pick up, they'll take it back just one step and they'll kick again. If they knock those three pins down, they do the same thing all over again. And, and if they get back to the, where they run in, because we have cones on both sides here, if they get back far enough where they're running into the other group, then they can just start over. At any time, if they miss two times in a row, then their turn is over. And they have to start all the way back from the beginning line. It's kind of like a game we call back away and catching. They have to start over if the ball hits the ground in that game. In this case, they have to start over if they miss the pins two times in a row. So that's the setup for soccer bowling.